to the other moment playing out in a case making national headlines tonight, the teenager who killed four people in a drunk driving accident. His defense team saying he was from a wealthy family, too spoiled to understand what he had done, the so-called affluenza team. Ethan Couch, turning 19 just two days ago, appearing in court as an adult for the first time and learning his fate today, as it's also revealed that American taxpayers spent tens of thousands of dollars on his rehab because his family said they didn't have the money. So what was his punishment? Here's ABC's Matt Gutman now. The Texas judge stunning a packed court today with that ruling against the so-called affluenza right, team, Ethan Couch. After the first 180 days, then the second 180 days will start. 180 days for each of the four victims. In total, the Fort Worth judge ordering the 19-year-old to serve almost two years in county lockup for probation violation. In 2013, Couch was sentenced to probation for killing four people in a drunk driving crash. He was 16 then, turned 19 on Monday. This favoritism that he's still a kid or juvenile is gone. It expired at 12 o'clock Monday. He's now an adult. He needs to be treated a lot more. Couch has been in jail since January when he was extradited to Texas after fleeing to Mexico. With that mop of dyed hair and a shaggy beard, he was directed into court by Sheriff D. Anderson. Certainly this uh, time that he spent in, a, in basically in a single cell by himself with no privileges, uh, you know, that, that, that's a rude awakening for anyone. Especially for a teen whose million dollar legal team argued Couch was too pampered to go to jail. As part of his original sentencing, Ethan was ordered to a state-run rehab, but his millionaire parents said they couldn't afford to pay. So the state stepped in, taxpayers shelling out tens of thousands of dollars, 17 times more than the couches. David? Matt Gutman with us tonight. Thanks, Matt.